Hey guys, it's me JP2162 and I am here recording a video on how I make my custom thumbnails. Now first, I don't know if this is required, but I decided to become a regular YouTube partner. Oh god. And how you do that is by typing in uh, <coughs> youtube.com and then you add the, this go to the YouTube site and then type in slash yt slash creators. And you will have this option and then you hit become a partner. Once you do that, you just read all this. Now, you can't have any copyright strikes, and I guess you have to upload a decent amount. Uh, I'm not going to monetize those, but uh, what you do, I'm already monetized. But what you do, you like answer these questions, and there will be like a little paragraph at the end. And uh, you want to answer with that little paragraph. Uh, I would recommend making that 20 to 50 words. And basically just <clears throat> read that. And eventually in a few weeks, you'll go to one of your videos. I'm going to just show you this. I'm not going to edit, make mine yet. But just hit, you'll hit edit. And there'll be this custom thumbnail option. And then basically once you do that, you just uh, go into your desktop. You click this. Go into your desktop. Click find a picture or just upload that and you'll have a you'll have a custom thumbnail that way but so what I do is I'm gonna go into GIMP and I'll be showing you how to make mine that way I use GIMP to make mine because it's free and easier than Photoshop I believe I find it to be very simple very simple yes I'm gonna yell very like that because I feel like it but it has only been two minutes and I am just going through this like super fast and by the way the one I'm making right now is the one I'm going to be using in the video so I'm going to do is hit new and you want it to be 1280 by 720 by in pixels make sure it's px px is pixels if you don't if you're not that stupid now what you do first thing I did I went to tools and I hit new tool toolbox and I make it a little wider because you kind of have to and I kind of had to move the bandicam thingy a little bit so I could actually get <laughs> to minimize the toolbox and make it usable I like to make mine two layers it's kind of an OCD thing of mine now what you could do here is you could either just make a color and use the paint bucket tool but I'm gonna do something different Back. Hey, you're gonna hit this little square thing right here. Double click that, and there'll be these options like gradient. All these, you can pick a background. And I'm gonna pick wood too, because that one I like a lot. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enable that and be like, I'll make it linear because it looks best, I guess. I like, I like it on that side. And I'll hit capacity and then I'll hit enter maybe. I don't know. So what you do, you just, uh, you can draw a line. I'm going to do it at uh, right here. No, no, it's not right. Draw it this way. There, that looks good. And uh, now... What I'm going to do is first I'm going to find a picture to download. I'm going to create a new tab. No, no, I don't need to create a new tab. Uh, logo. I'm going to Google GIMP logo. Search it up. This one I think is the best. So I'm going to click on the image. Oh, you want to click on it to get a bigger size so you don't have to adjust it later. Although you can adjust it. So hit save image abs. It'll Gimple con and what I do is I go to show and folder Gimp oh gip gimp icon not ulcon I don't even know what that means Gulcon let me like a new word I know what icon means I'm not stupid and then uh Yo tube Yo type Let's do it logo Which one looks cooler? 
This one's bigger. No, that's a little too big. This is fine. I'm gonna save this image. And uh, it's already saved. Show in folder. Drag it to the desktop like the GIMP one. And then I'll close it. I will minimize this. Yeah, I'm using Bandicam, so I kind of have to like drag it down before I minimize because the top thing's blocking it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the GIMP icon onto here. I'm going to select this tool, and I'm going to move it to the side. I'm going to drag the YouTube one on and drag it to this side. I'm going to move this one a little more just to be closer to the edge. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to alphabet and click this thing. I'm going to make this uh, Okay. Oh, no, I, I didn't make it proper. I'm going to put the title in. I'm going to make this full screen so I can actually make more of the features. I'm going to make this bold as I can and then I'm going to highlight it and be like make it as big as I can without taking over the whole row because that's a little that's that's big that's too big <clears throat> and now that I have that I want to add something in the middle I, oh I know what I'm going to do There, and then I'm going to space it like that. And that looks good. It's right in the middle. <clears throat> and at the bottom, just to show you, I'm just going to put in youtube.com slash jpta162. And I'm going to move that. No, why did I do that? There, that's that's good enough. By the way, uh, you're gonna have to download. G I'll show you where you can download GIMP too. After this, and I'm gonna give you a little mini channel update. So what you're gonna do is go to. Make this small again. Bring this back up. Drag this down. Okay, now what you're going to do is I'm uh, going to file, save as, GIM tutorial, and then save that. And then I'm going to go to file export. It'll go as a P P PNG, I just call it that, I'm too lazy. I, go, I put it on my desktop where I see it, don't have to, have to go through all the crap. Just makes everything so much easier. And then you hit export. And with that, you should have a picture. Yeah, I'm using Bandicam, I know. I'm going to put it up here and show you it. I think that's nice. I like that. And now I'm going to show you where to download GIMP. Now what you do is I'm just going to go into, wait, why did I do that? GIMP. Go to GIMP.org. Hit